awesome to do and today we're going to be looking at uh, the extraction of iron. Okay, first of all, metals are extracted from ores. What is an ore? An ore is a rock where metal can be extracted economically. That's an important word. And iron is extracted from its ore by a process called carbon reduction. Carbon because um, in the reactivity series, Iron is below carbon, and so carbon can displace iron, and that's how you extract iron from its ore. Reduction it can be either the gain of electrons or the removal of oxygen. In this case, we're going to remove oxygen from the iron ore, and that's how we extract the iron. So the, so the ore we're going to use is iron oxide, and this can also be called hematite, which is another word for iron ore. This is our iron ore. And iron is extracted in a blast furnace. In a blast furnace, you've got four things that are added. Obviously, you've got your iron ore. And you've got then your fuel, either coal or carbon. Anything can be a fuel, even methane, probably. Then you also add limestone and air. And what you're getting from the air is the oxygen. That's a useful... Um, Thing you want from the air because that's going to allow the fuel to burn. So here you've got um, three things added at the top. You've got your iron ore, your fuel and your limestone. And here is where you put in your air. Why do you not just put in pure oxygen? Because pure oxygen is expensive to get. Just put in air. I mean you're, it's, you're going to get the oxygen from it anyway. And here we've got slag. Here we've got molten iron. Why is molten iron at the bottom of slag? Because it's denser. So from the blast furnace, when we extract the iron, it's called cast iron. And this iron is very pure. And we know that pure metals are very soft. And there's not much use for cast iron. So it's usually converted into a more useful alloy like steel. And the main difference between steel and cast iron is that steel has more carbon in its composition. Now we're going to move on to the equations that are, and the reactions that actually occur in the blast furnace. Okay, so as we said, these are the four things that are added into the blast furnace. The iron ore, iron oxide, carbon, limestone, which is mainly made up of calcium carbonate, and the oxygen from the air. So first of all, you've got the carbon from the carbon, the fuel, reacts with oxygen from the air to give you carbon dioxide. You've also got carbon, then reacts again, but this time with the carbon dioxide to give you carbon monoxide. And this carbon monoxide is very important in the extraction of iron oxide. Because this is what displaces, this is what displaces the iron in iron oxide, the carbon from the carbon monoxide. So here we have the main equation. Iron oxide here reacts with the carbon monoxide to give you iron and carbon dioxide. So just take that in for a second. You've got the iron oxide becoming the iron. So, it's reduction. Why is it reduction? The iron ore is reduced because the oxygen is removed. But for the carbon monoxide, it's actually oxidized. Because it's gaining the oxygen. One oxygen here, two oxygens there. And so you've got the carbon from here that actually displaces the iron from iron oxide to give you carbon dioxide and that's how the iron is extracted through displacement because carbon is higher in the reactivity series than iron and then you've got some minor equations the, the calcium carbonate from the limestone thermally decomposes to give you calcium oxide which is quicklime and carbon dioxide and also maybe some quicklime with some sand, silicon dioxide, it just is just sand, to give you the slag. Remember from the diagram I drew of the blast furnace? 
the slag is basically just uh, a product of the impurities. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go over it one more time because it's kind of confusing unless you get your head unless you get your head around it. So then you've got the carbon and the oxygen to give you the carbon dioxide. Then another reaction that gives you carbon monoxide, which is the important thing we want. Iron oxide is reduced to iron because the carbon from the carbon monoxide displaces the iron in iron oxide, which gives you the iron. Okay, so then just iron oxide and the carbon mon uh, monoxide. The carbon is higher in reactivity than iron, so it displaces it. So now it's carbon dioxide. And that means the iron is therefore displaced, and you've got iron on its own. And then you've got just the minor equations and reactions. That's, the, that's it, that's the extraction of iron. So, bye.